Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Shermaine aka Terry McGinnis and this is a video that I used to do way back in the day and it's going to be a lot different from what you normally expect from me but it's going to be talking about college tips. I used to do these way back in the day, way, way back in the day when I didn't have no gaming channel, none of that shit, you know what I mean? When I didn't have this or that, when it was just me, all of this goodness and my laptop and I got the microphone but um, these videos I'm just kind of telling you all you know some of the shit that I've learned from my experiences and I'm not saying I know everything in the world no but I'm going to help you if you are transitioning into college you're already in college struggling doing this that or whatever and I cover I do a multitude of topics and you know areas where I feel like um, I really learned something and for the most part I'm going to be telling you what not to do because believe me in college I fucked up a lot of shit you know what I mean I did a lot of things the wrong way and um, it was tough you know it was really really tough for me but so in this video I wanted to talk about uh, scheduling picking your classes your time slots and stuff like that I'm going to talk about the importance of it I'm kind of going by uh, your degree plan and all that stuff so that's what we're going to talk about in this video so you know school's about to come by um, really really soon since it's already August you know what I'm saying and you know I'm going back obviously I know a lot of people are too and um, I used to go to a college up north and I don't want to get a whole lot into it, you know, a whole lot into, you know, my whole experience because that'll be like, I can go on for hours. But it's really, really important to, like, look at your classes and shit way ahead of time, you know what I mean? Because um, before as you start to get down to the wire and you start really, really registering for classes, you kind of need to pick out, like, what you plan to go for this year, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you're going to take uh, three or four classes you got to say, okay, look at your degree plan, see the classes that you need, if you need any basic requirements or whatever. Sorry, I have the light right on my face and it's just, you know, it's like burrowing in and shit. But anyways, you know, you figure out what you're going to take. Like this semester, I'm going to take three classes. I like to split it up like that. I like to take three instead of four. How most, no, more, blah, blah, blah. most people go by four. I kind of like going three and in the summer take about one or two and then go three. I like to do that. That's how I kind of roll. That's uh that's what that's a system that works for me, you know what I'm saying? But figure out which classes you're going to take. Okay, you know, you need uh you need another English or you can uh you can get one of these credits out the way or you can go ahead and finish up this one. We only need one more class. You know, you figure that out now. You figure that out like later on or actually earlier on because when it comes time to now, now you have to start to find slots, you know what I'm saying? And for me, that I go to a community college now, you know, here in Austin, ACC, you know, there's multiple campuses, but you want to find out, like, which ones are closest to you. If you're at a university, you don't want to really have to worry about shit because everything's right there. But, like, for someone like me, I got to find out, like, the classes that I want to take. Hopefully, they'll be at the certain campuses that I want to go to because I live fairly close to two of them. You know, one's this way and one's that way. And um, you kind of have to see if they have those classes available to you. And if you do, that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. But if not, it's like, fuck, they're like way up north, way to the east, way to the west. And it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. So that's why it's important to pick those classes now so or earlier. So that way, if they don't have those classes available, you can pick the next one on your list that you were going to take, you know, and just kind of switch it out. You know what I'm saying? And then take it the next semester or in the summer, or, you know, whatever. So now you got all your classes picked out. You're like, okay, I want to go this one, this one, this one. And if this one's not available, then I'll go ahead and throw this one in there and shit like that, okay? And now you're going to have to start picking out your time slots, you know what I'm saying? The way it worked back in, way back up north when I went to a uh, university is, you know, obviously it goes by seniority and shit like that. So it sucks. So I got like the shittiest like time slots for classes, you know what I'm saying? Like I had an 8 a.m. Don't ever take those. Even if you're a morning person, don't take those. Take a 9 a.m. class, please, for the love of God. Do not ever take an 8 a.m. class. It's, it's terrible. So, up, you know, when I was back up there, it's, it just sucked because I kind of just got whatever was thrown to me. But now, you know, you can kind of pick out what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And let me give you a very, very, very important tip. Do not ever take a class and then take an hour break into another class because for that hour, you you wasted an hour of your day because... There ain't shit to do in an hour because you have to, unless it's at the same exact campus, it's like you can just sit around on your ass for an hour and then you go to the next class. It's kind of boring, you know what I'm saying? And believe me, and as soon as class ends, you're like, oh, I'm going to just go home or go back to the dorm room and I'm going to sleep for 30 minutes. No, 
don't ever sleep for 30 minutes when you when you have a class that's right there because you'll wake up and you're like, oh shit, it's 10.45 and I was supposed to be in class at 10 o'clock. Don't ever, ever schedule a class with an hour break between your next class. If you're going to do a break, either do either no break at all or do a long ass break. Like that's that's how it was my last semester. I had a class from 10 to 11:30 or some shit like that or you know something around there and then my next class wasn't until 4 in the afternoon. So I had a you know by the time I got home, I slept for 3 hours. I was good. I woke up, I was ready to go. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Take a big ass break or don't take a break at all. Just go back to back to back. So that way you get your classes out the way, you get the rest of the day to yourself. And then there you go. And then as soon as you get off of class, you can take a nap and shit like that. Or like I said, take a big ass break. You know what I mean? Take one class, one or two classes in the morning. Then take a long couple hours, about anywhere from two to four hours. Because at least if you take a two hour break, you can sleep for an hour. Or you can sleep for an hour and 30. And then you still have plenty of time to get up and go. But if you go in and sleep for 30 minutes, hell no. Your body is going to be like, nah. It's like, nah, motherfucker. I'm staying right here. You know what I'm saying? So take anywhere from two to four hour break. And then, you know, take a nap in that time. Or if you like to work out or whatever, I mean, you know, do whatever you do in those hours. But make sure you're obviously getting ready for class and shit. Like me, I like to sleep. I like to sleep a lot. I like to sleep on the weekends all the time. A lot. Like, between when I play fucking fast pitch, I sleep between games. I nap between games because that's just what I do. You know what I mean? That's just what I do. And if, if I can have the opportunity to sleep like that between classes for an hour or two hours, hell yeah, I'm going to take that. Fuck yeah, you know what I'm saying? So... If you're going to schedule classes, do them either back-to-back or do a break in between that is a significant amount of time, anywhere from two to four hours, because you don't want to fucking have an hour because you're not going to do shit, you know what I mean? You're going to want to go to sleep, you know, you don't, it's, you, you're going to fuck, shit's going to get fucked up if you take an hour fucking break between classes. Don't do that. Trust me. Trust me. Do not do that. So, you take your classes, you pick your classes, you figure out which ones you're going to take for this semester, you find them, you register for them, and if one of them is not available, you just, you know, fill it in with the other class that's kind of going to replace it. Then, uh, you know, materials and all that, I made a video about that a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, then now scheduling. Pick your classes, whatever time works for you. If you know you're not a morning person, don't take a morning class. Or if you know you're a mo- you're not a morning person, take one at like 10 or 11 or 12 maybe, and then do the break thing. Or if you're good by that time, then you don't need a break, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a morning person. That's why I usually take classes anywhere from about 9 o'clock is my absolute earliest. About 10, 10 I'm all right, 11 I'm good, you know, from then on I'm all right. Schedule them and find a schedule that works for you. Either one or two in the morning and a big break or and then some in the afternoon or no break at all. Go from 10 to 2 o'clock, whatever, whatever you like to do. And um, so that's, believe me, do not do not do the shit that I said not to do. Do not do the stuff. Actually, that was probably a double negative. Do not schedule your shit with an hour break or something that goes against your internal clock or, you know, shit like that because you're going to get fucked up and then you're going to try to adjust in the middle of the semester and, oh, man, it's going to get all fucked up while you have to do work for all those classes. Shit, you might still have a job. You got to balance that too. And then, you know, all these other, you know, factors, family, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be. Believe me. Believe me, because that was a rude awakening for me. So that's pretty much all I got in this uh, college tips video. You know, I hope I hope that like people who actually watch this and are going to college, getting ready to go to college, already in college, I like, really take away something like this. Like I said, I'm I'm not like some fucking life guru. I'm not I'm not saying I did everything right. I'm not saying I did everything wrong. I did a lot of stuff wrong, but I'm trying to tell you what not to do so you don't have to face a lot of problems like I did. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I hope some of you guys actually, like, like take a little bit from this because it can really help you, you know what I'm saying? That's why I do these videos is because I feel like I've had some experiences where I fucked shit up and I've learned from it, you know, way down the line now that, you know, once my cousins get ready to go off to college and the rest of them, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to already tell them, like, dude, you know, if you're going through this, don't do this because I did that and it was absolutely the wrong way to go about it. And shit like that. So that's going to do it for me, you guys. I'm going to be definitely keeping up with these videos now that I have, you know, a nice microphone. And that's nice. I'm still using my webcam from the camera. I mean, not the camera, the laptop. And, uh, you know, it's not anything significantly improved, nothing at all. But um, these were a series of videos that I really like to do. And I feel like I can, you know, help people out. So I'm definitely going to be keeping those, keeping those coming. 
and I'm just keeping it real with you guys. You know what I'm saying? You'll you'll see more of these videos. You'll still see my gaming videos, but you know I'm just uh, I'm just throwing it out there. And whoever wants to uh, take heed of the uh, knowledge, I guess you can call it then hopefully it'll benefit them in some way or some fashion. So that's going to do it for this video. The importance of scheduling and all that shit around that nature. That's going to do it for me, you guys. I'm out. Peace.